stratified squamous epithelium, non-keratinized. It's going to be found lining uh, the tubes in the body that uh, reach the surface. So you'll see it inside the mouth, you'll see it in the esophagus, you'll see it in the anus, and here uh, you can see it in the vagina. So this is the surface. Um, this is the more meaty part of the vagina. And you can see again this very distinct uh, boundary between this tissue and this tissue. Uh, this tissue has a basement membrane and so a basilar set of cells and then um, it re again reaches the body surface which in this case would be the inside of the vagina. So let's take a peek a little bit closer up so we can kind of see some cells maybe even closer. I uh, <clears throat> kind of hate to do that. This is going to be dense irregular connective tissue, various, woo, various connective tissues, um, but what we're interested in is these layers at the surface. So again, here's um, a basement membrane, very sharp distinction between these tissue, this tissue and that tissue. Uh, the cells are very close together in a sheet. There are no blood vessels visible through here. You can look around, there are no blood vessels. There are over here, but not in this tissue. There's very little matrix, uh, and in fact, you might say there's no matrix. We know it's there, but certainly can't see it. And um, then we see stacks and stacks of cells. So all that tells you that this is a stratified epithelium. And how are we going to name it? The, these cells are not squamous. Um, those are the ones that are dividing and producing these cells that move farther and farther away from their blood supply. And as they move farther and farther away, they become flatter and flatter and flatter. And so this tissue is named after, ooh, these surface cells um, that are in fact squamous in shape. I might be able to convince you of that. Uh, and as these cells, these are the older cells at the surface, the younger cells are here, they'll divide and basically push the cells toward the surface. Um, and push the older cells toward the surface. And as they move away from a blood supply, they die off. The nucleus, that previously plump nucleus, gets smaller and smaller and smaller, kind of shrinks. Uh, the cytoplasm withers away, gets washed out, dies off, the organelles are gone. And as the, those cells, as you move toward the surface, you see cells that are in various stages of dying and eventually they'll just flake off. So this is different than the keratin because as the cells die in the keratinized, they become more compact. Those tough keratin bundles bind together and stay as little flakes at the body surface. Here the cells die off and then get um, scraped away individually. So you'll see more of these empty cells than you would see in a keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. So basement membrane, apical side, stratified squamous epithelium.